What is wrong with him? Oh my goodness. So I have to say that J.D. Vance is possibly the worst vice president in American history. I don't know how Trump goes from Pence to J.D. Vance. This is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because he's in this interview, all right, with CNN, and he's still lying about the cats and dogs. How are you still lying after it's been debunked a multitude of times? There is not one report of a Haitian immigrant eating a cat or a dog. Not one. And he's, he's confronted with this in the interview. And guess what he says? He says, well, you know what? I have to go to the first hand account of my constituents. What constituents, bruh? You again started this in part by saying that, at which Donald Trump repeated on the debate stage, that, and he didn't say anything about the policies that you're talking about. He just said, Haitians are eating dogs and cats. Can you affirmatively say now that that is a rumor that has no base, basis with evidence? Dana, the evidence is the first-hand account of my constituents who are telling me that this happened. What constituents is he talking about? He's just lying out of his butt. And thanks to him lying, now we have, as far as the Klan coming out, you have the Proud Boys coming out, and the Klan thing was real. I called the number. It was very much the Klan. I, I was like, what? They were like, hey, have a, have a white day and white power. That's what they said on the voicemail. I, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. I really don't. Because in the same breath, he wants to talk about, oh, I denounce any white supremacist group because my wife is brown. And I condemn all white supremacists. I'm obviously not. I'm, I'm married to a non-white person. I don't like these people, but I think that we have to f keep our focus. But yet you are spreading rumors of Haitians eating cats and dogs. We don't have not one police report. We don't, we don't have not one video. We don't have a picture. We have nothing, literally nothing. This is very much, I'm white and I say so. That's what he's doing. And he's causing people harm. Because apparently now, there are schools that are getting like bomb threats in Springfield, just out of the blue, just, just so happenedly, uh, coincidentally coincides with them talking about, hey, they're eating cats and dogs. You now have Haitian uh, people in Springfield who have to stay inside due to fear of threat. This, this is, bro, I don't know what to tell you. This is why uh, many people are like, yo, we can't have this again. I see why Kamala Harris is talking about, you know, never again. We're not going back. Because you can't go back to such baseless people who don't care. These are the same people who are talking about they're still in the election and got all these people locked up, got them imprisoned over a lie, over a lie. And then he wants to talk about, well, it was just a joke. I was being sarcastic. I was being sarcastic. This person, Trump and Vance are a threat, bro. And I'm not even being hyperbolic. When you have this man who's continually talking about they're eating the cats and dogs, he's still retweeting and reposting as far as videos that aren't of cats and dogs. It's crazy because what you have, because they're in a cult, what, what happens in a cult is that the cult leader can't be wrong. So when you have low IQ PWTs in this cult, what they do is go out of their way to prove the cult leader right. And what has unfortunately happened, there has been a case of cats being skinned and mutilated and left on like lawns. It is my belief, uh, based on the number of bodies we found in such a short time period, uh, that a human did do this. Only on to tonight, a disturbing story developing in Houston's East End neighborhood. Three cats have been found dead in the past two weeks. Their bodies mutilated and cut in half. Now, what on God's green earth would lead someone to do that? I'll tell you. Someone trying to prove that J.D. Vance is right. Someone trying to prove that Trump is right, that, hey, they are eating cats and dogs. Look, I prove it. These people are so deranged that they have gone out of their way to actually harm their own pets. They are harming their own pets to, to own the libs. Do you understand how unhinged of a voter base this is? Do you understand how unstable you have to be to harm a cat or a dog to prove as far as Trump 
what Trump is saying is accurate, to try and prove what, Trump, what, what Vance is saying is accurate, that is some mental, mental issues, bruh. And yet he's still going on saying it. He's still going on saying it. There has been no evidence whatsoever, none. Even the video of the black guy talking about, oh, there is a geese that they killed, it. they killed the geese and everything. The guy comes out and says, well, you know what? It, I, I didn't see it. I heard, you know, someone told me that they saw it. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them. And I ain't never seen no cat and dog get ate in my life. And I never said that. I said something about a goose. And somebody told me they see somebody grab a goose up and cut his head off. And that's what the fuck I said. Bruh, I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm flummoxed, bro. I'm speechless. I'm speechless at the depths of stupidity we have in this country. Now I see why when you go to other countries, they automatically think you're stupid. If you go to other countries, they assume the American is stupid. They assume you're stupid, okay? Without you having to say a word, without them even knowing you. They're just like, oh, you're for America? Oh, well, you're, you're a dumbass. Makes sense. But what puts the cherry on top of this stupid Sunday is that in this interview, he talked about how he created the narrative. He created the narrative to, 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 for the benefit of the, you know, the Springfield people and whatnot. And she calls him. It's like, so, so you lied, right? So, so you just said you created the narrative. Donald Trump and I start talking about cat memes. If I have to, but it if wasn't I just have a to meme, create right? stories so that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people, then that's what I'm going to do, Dana, because you guys are completely letting Kamala Harris. And then he tries to, he tries to like patch it up. Well, well no, no, what I mean is I created the narrative by making the media report on it. That's what I mean. You just said that this is a story that you've yes. created. So, so then the eating dogs we and cats are thing is we not... We are Excellent. creating, we are, Dana, it comes from firsthand accounts from my constituents. I say that we're creating a story, meaning we're creating the American media focusing on it. What? Bro, this man, they are just the bottom of the barrel, bro. Just the bottom of the barrel. Just absolute pieces of trash. I don't know what to tell you. To try and attack. A group of people, and you notice something. He didn't say as far as Ukraine immigrants. He didn't say Russian immigrants. He didn't say any type of European immigrants. He said Haitian immigrants, bruh. I find that very, very interesting. Very, it's, it's, it, it, it's just too on the nose. It's too on the nose. So, I mean, there are, there are a bunch of anti-black racists. They clearly want to cause chaos. When you tell people a narrative, just as Trump told the PWTs of his party during January 6th, they will act on it. They will act on it. So now you have in the Klan, you have in the Proud Boys, you have a bunch of these white supremacists who are now freaking causing terror to, to, to Haitian immigrants. And my guess is they don't know who's a Haitian immigrant or not. My guess is they're going up against anyone who is black, anyone who is of darker skin, who doesn't look like they should be there in Springfield. That's what they're going up against. And you know, this, 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 I'm sorry. We, we can't have four years of this foolishness. We can't, we just can't. It's, it's not good for the country. Trump and his stooges need to go by the wayside. They gotta go. They have destroyed the Republican party. This is not the same man of 2016. He is somehow devolved into to, to a hot mess. OK, to a bigger uh, to an even bigger mess than he was previously. And he's going to bring the country down. The Republican Party has got to rebuild. Now, if they want to, as far as improve and grow, they've got to do some outreach. You can't be racist. It's as simple as that. You can't be racist moving forward in this country because the demographics are changing. So if you never want to win an election again, by all means, keep on doing what you're doing. But when it comes to Trump and the foolishness advance brings on, they got That's dead weight. That's dead weight to the party. They're not winning. They're losing, just like they lost the last election. They're losing by promoting this foolishness. And most Republicans don't, don't want this. Most Republicans don't want this. They want to go back to some form of no normalcy, some form of normalcy. And I don't know, the more, the more damage that Vance and Trump cause leading up to this election, I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can recover after this election. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Um, there is no either or here. It is, there's none because there's no shred of evidence. There's none. 
It, it, it honestly reminds me of the whole Stop the Steal again, where they're coming out with videos. So look at the video and you see the video. It's like, what? There's, we already did a report on the video. There's nothing going on in the video. Everything is, you know, up and up. And they're just like, no, no, it's a deep state. This, th this is unfortunate because they're preying on unhinged people. They're preying on weak minds. And these weak minds are very quick to turn into some, as, as they're doing right now with the cats and dogs. They're very quick to, to create a narrative. If there's no evidence for the narrative, they will create that evidence. So it's, it's, it's very sick to, to prey on sick people like that. It's, it's, it's insane, okay? You're, you're just evil, wicked people. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree, you know where to find me, Friday through Sunday, disagreement day, you call in and we'll duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think and subscribe and all oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. But it if wasn't I just have a to meme. Create stories.